every nuclear power plant site has at least two NRC resident inspectors who keep a watchful eye on plant operations each day and make sure workers are conforming to NRC safety and security requirements. In addition to being here every day and following all the activities and making sure that they're running safely, it's important for the NRC to have a resident inspector here in case there's an emergency or an event, then the NRC will have somebody right in there where the action is or where the event is, somebody that can communicate back to the region or headquarters and tell them what's happening and what the event is all about. Periodically, the NRC also sends specialists to look into specific incidents or areas such as safety systems, maintenance, and security. If they see any problems, they follow up to make sure the plant has fixed them and changed its procedures so the problem will not happen again. In addition to inspections, the NRC's oversight process assesses plant performance and spots trends in order to respond to any decline. Every year, NRC discusses each plant assessment with nearby residents and local officials. It also makes these assessments and inspection reports available to the public on the NRC website, www.nrc.gov. The NRC conducts investigations that can be prompted by an on-site inspector, a plant event, or safety concerns expressed by nuclear workers or members of the public. If rules have been broken, the NRC will act, and how it acts depends on the seriousness of the infraction. Anytime there's a violation of a regulation, part of the process that we undertake is to determine just how severe that violation is and whether that violation would be treated as a minor violation or whether that violation would become more severe and treated in an escalated fashion. For a minor problem, the NRC may issue a notice of violation, and the licensee must show that they have corrected the problem so that it won't happen again. More serious or repeat violations can result in fines or employment restrictions, and when necessary, the NRC may modify, suspend, or revoke a license. For example, a violation of NRC requirements surfaced at the Davis-Bessey nuclear power plant in Ohio in 2002. Corrosion had eaten a football-sized hole in the reactor's massive steel top. Although no one was hurt, the NRC fined the plant's operator more than $5 million and banned some of its employees from working in the nuclear industry for several years. All operations were suspended at the plant until safety fixes were made to the NRC's satisfaction. Only then did the NRC approve restart two years later. All nuclear plants have emergency plans that are practiced regularly with NRC and local response groups. The NRC monitors emergency situations from a specially equipped operations center outside Washington, D.C., where it works with other participants to protect affected communities. There are a lot of people in the operations center when there is an exercise. It can be noisy, chaotic, you're nervous because you have a big responsibility. Your job is to ensure that nothing goes wrong. You're, you're here. You're entrusted by the public to, to be servants of the government to ensure that they are protected. Nuclear power plants are built to withstand extreme events such as hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes, and have always been among the most secure industrial facilities in the U.S. But September 11, 2001, was a grim wake-up call for all Americans, including those institutions like the NRC, that are responsible for the safety of the American people. Since 9-11, the NRC has strengthened its security requirements for nuclear plants, research reactors, fuel processing facilities, and manufacturers using nuclear materials. These measures work to prevent and, if needed, respond to an attack on a plant or a threat that could involve theft or sabotage of radioactive material. Additional security measures at nuclear plants include armed guards, physical barriers to keep potential terrorists farther from the plant, additional surveillance cameras, strict access controls, and thorough worker background checks. The NRC has conducted studies on a variety of attacks, and results show that even an attack using a large plane would be unlikely to lead to a radiation release. Increased controls have been put in place to track the whereabouts and use of certain nuclear materials, too. We've greatly strengthened our oversight programs by conducting more frequent and more rigorous inspections at the facilities, 
and also through the conduct of force on force evaluations which basically is using a mock adversary force to try to attack these facilities to achieve a uh, radiological sabotage. While the NRC generally posts much of its information and documents on its website, security details are not made public to avoid assisting terrorists. The most important thing is to make sure that we protect the public and the environment from any haphazard use of radiation or release of radiation. They're our number one customer. It is a new millennium marked by iPods, low-rise jeans, and hybrid cars. New nuclear plants appear to be on the horizon. Nuclear medicine keeps advancing, and as the years have passed, the NRC's efforts have intensified in protecting the public and making sure there are no nuclear reactor accidents and no significant unintended radiation exposures. The Commission continues to employ bright and highly qualified people dedicated to ensuring nuclear energy remains as safe and secure as it can be. Wherever you live, whatever you do, the NRC is there to protect you and the environment around you.